Unimaginable grief for a South Florida family after a teenager was shot and then burned to death. Tonight, his loved ones came together praying that someone can help bring the killer to justice. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates has more from Southwest Miami Dade. Candles are burning off in the distance, marking the spot where the 18 year old's body was found. And now the police is asking the community for help. <laughs> Neil Carell's family and friends couldn't hold back the tears. The group came together for a vigil honoring the slain teen. It just doesn't feel real. It, I mean, I, I still don't know what to think and just Thinking about Neil not being with us is just, I, I don't know what to say. It is devastating. It's devastating. Crime scene tape now marks the entrance to the trail where Neil's body was found. According to police, the 18 year old was shot, then his body was burned. CBS 4 News spoke to Neil's grandfather, who says there is no justification for his grandson's death. It's not just me. His mother, his grandmother, his aunts and uncles and siblings were all going through terrible pain. What they did was a crime. What they did to our boy to shoot him and burn him. They burned him. He didn't deserve that. Neil recently graduated from high school and was interested in going into the army. Now his family says it's more than his dreams that are cut short. He was just such a good person, really. Like, he had such a good heart, and he was a young kid, and he just was so accepting and loving, and, and he was a very... Everyone loved Neil. We're all very close-knit. We're a really close family, so we're all feeling the loss. His body was discovered by canal along Southwest 187th Avenue and 8th Street near Mississippi Road Saturday morning. But his car was found hours later, miles away near 8th Street and 216th. Police say they have few leads in this case and need your help. We don't know. We don't have any of that information. We're trying to, we're trying to get answers. That's, we're trying to get answers. Anyone with information about this crime is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Bo Beth Yates, CBS 4 News tonight.